Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Notion page and this one's going to be how I did it for my little small business. I do also have this one for school, but my semester hasn't started yet so it's still empty but I'll show you guys this one if you want to see it as well. But today we're going to focus more on um, this. So my Notion setup is super simple and it's something that I know I'll be able to actually um, keep up with. So yeah, this is something I'll know, I know I'll be able to follow and actually use. So I'm going to just quickly walk you guys through my entire page. So this is just the main screen. Usually I like to just have everything put in one place so I can just see it all when I'm, you know, logging on and needing to do something. So I just have my little logo here. I was going to put like a little header, like a cover photo, but I decided to just keep it nice and simple and I really like the way it looks like this. I don't know. I might add something later, who knows? And then I just put Cinema by Vivian here. And on this side, there's just like, it's a running to-do list. So if I ever have anything that I need to do, like I'm gonna go open a PO box hopefully soon. So I just have that written here. No, none of this is super like urgent stuff. It's more so just things that I'll have to do. Like if I get around to it, you know, just like a running list of those things. And once I'm done, I'll check them off put them away or delete them and so yeah this is just currently the one thing that I really have to do for my business and next thing I have a running list of things I need to buy so yeah I'll show you guys how this works so for the buys I'll just press like add and then you can re rename this and um, I actually do need to buy some 24 gauge um, wire so I need to buy some 24 gauge wires, so I just put that in. And why I haven't deleted the, the last one yet is because I ordered it, but it hasn't come in yet. So it's gonna be here until um, it arrives and then I'll, you know, delete it. And then last section down here on the left hand side is an order map states that I sent orders to, but I haven't yet added onto my map. And I'm just waiting to accumulate a few more before I um, update my map because I usually make a TikTok of me updating my map. So right now we just have three here that I need to add. And once I do that, I'll just um, delete those. So the next section is more so just everything else. <laughs> so I have this top section for Etsy, which is just a link to my shop. It's pretty just easy access if I need to go there. And um, I just like, it, like having it right at the top. Second, this one is for um, TikTok. So this is where I spend most of my time, I think. I have this page for some of the content ideas that I have. I'm not gonna go in depth in any of them just because I am gonna be making these videos and I'll, and you guys will see them eventually on my TikTok if you follow me there. But basically I've organized them into four different sections. So I have content related to my products and those are more so like showing off what I have, showing off the products I have, maybe product photography, um, ways you can like style the jewelry I'm selling, stuff like that. And then the next section is small business tips and these are for more so for the um, small business owners that follow me on TikTok and I'll post content on like how I make different things for my business or how I utilize different things like lessons I've learned, you know, that kind of stuff. And then the next section is packing and this is just showing me packing my items or maybe some packing materials where I got the different packing materials. And then um, I know I whited, I kind of blocked them out, but each section does have just a checklist, just kind of like the other page. So yeah, after content ideas, I have this TikTok content calendar. Sorry, again, I'm gonna have to wipe this out. But basically what I have here is just a laid out version of all the different videos I plan on making. But yeah, I'm just gonna go down a little farther. I haven't planned in March yet, but it's super easy to add an item. So you'll just press add item and um, you can just type in, I usually just type in the name of the video, pick a tag, and these are these just correspond with the ones from the other page. So product packing, small biz tips, and just the extra miscellaneous things. And then generally in this section down here, I'll type like if I have any ideas for what I want in the video or um, like what I wanna say, if I'm gonna do a voiceover or something like that, I'll put that in this section. And 
I'm just gonna show you guys. So when, if say I'm doing like a packing video, like pack orders, I don't know, just whatever. And then in here, in the bottom, I could type like, um, sticker orders. Uh, ASMR so if I want to do like an ASMR video showing like the different sounds that it makes I don't know I like doing those they're fun <laughs> so when it pops up it'll just look like this and it says what the video is called and then like the little tag so I know which type of video generally I like to post um, like every other video be one or every like few videos be one tag so it's not like you know two packing videos next to each other or like two small business tips next to each other if you know what i mean so that's how you just kind of organize them out and also super easy if you want to move it to a different spot you can just like pick it and drag it so if i'm like planning for a week or something it makes it really easy for me to just move the different things around if you know i have like two packing videos next to each other and you can space them out like that so i think this calendar is definitely really helpful for me and i use it a lot all right, so we'll just continuing down. The next section I have is for stickers. This is for the stickers that I'm selling. Although I have them on Etsy, I just put like my big cartel link here and uh, just another link. So easy access. This one I don't use as much as my Etsy shop, which is why it's kind of further down on the page. So next I have this YouTube tab and this is where I usually just play my videos. I know this is not like extremely business related, but I do make a lot of like small business videos and kind of like the one I'm making right now. So yeah, when you click into the YouTube tab, first I have this one called videos and I have this like cute little cover picture. And basically here I just have like all the videos that I'm gonna be making. These are the two that I've uploaded so far. Everything else I'm gonna like white out the bottom, but these are the ones I've uploaded. And as you can see, it says progress here and um, so yeah, I'll just like select which step I'm on. I don't know. I don't really know if I like the organization of this, but it's been working so far. So I'm gonna keep it thumbnail. Um, if I made a thumbnail or not for the video, and then I'll put the date that I uploaded or that I should schedule to upload. And usually I'm trying to upload once a week right now and it's been going great. So yeah, that's how I just kind of organized that. And then I have one for the music I use. So I just have this and it's just a list of some of the songs. I don't really update this as much as I should. I literally have two here, <laughs> but I was thinking this would be a cool way to just, if I really wanted a fast song, then you can like find them. But I haven't actually put any of the ones that I'm using yet. So that was kind of a flop, but I might like continue using this. I don't know. Um, but I do have like all the music already on my account on like thematic so it's not a big deal that i'm not using this because i mean it's nice that there's a link here so i can just like press it and go to my account and look at all the all the songs that i'm using there and yeah down here i also have a deep pop one i haven't i haven't put my deep pop in here yet because i'll probably just end up doing the link i do want to like work on my depot more. I sell a lot of my secondhand clothes mostly just for my closet and I'll put them up on my depot. But I'm I don't know. I'm not really running that too much as simple by Vivian. It's just under the name. So I have it here just because I don't know. <laughs> so yeah that's the basic layout of my notion. It's super basic and I really like it like that because it makes it a lot easier for me to use and it's not adding too much extra stuff that I don't think I'll need. For example, like I know a lot of people put like their playlists, motivational quotes and stuff, which is super cool. And I mean, it helps them like you do you. But for me personally, I think this super simple to the point setup is exactly what I need. And um, yeah, it's been going great for me. So yeah, hopefully this video was somewhat helpful. If you guys liked it, definitely let me know and hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. I'll be posting videos every week. Also, let me know if you guys have any questions about setting up a Notion and I could do a more in-depth video on that uh, if you want. But yeah, and I'll probably update you guys more on Notion when I start my actual academic semester so I can show you guys how I'm organizing everything for school and for Simple by Vivian. So you guys can kind of see both sides of that. Yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and 
see you guys next week bye